Okay, I wanted to show a demo of registering two models together using a buckle bite scan or any kind of registration scan. It could be a facial of the anteriors or anything, but uh, just wanted to demonstrate kind of the principle. Alright, so the steps are going to be more or less the same for any kind of CAD CAM software, and the, the same kind of principles apply to registering together. You know, if I took three or four images, of this whole arch, the software is going to have to do the same steps to stick all those together to sew it into one model or stitch it into one model. The first thing, it always helps to get the models roughly in place, and the way you would do that with multiple images is you know you assume that you take images kind of in sequence with some overlap, so they're already roughly together, and the computer can just grind through. But for three models such as these, which were taken in different instances and kind of randomly in space the first thing we want to do is rough them into place and so we'll use point based gluing essentially tell it three or four points that are corresponding on each mesh let it snap them into place and then Life will be good. You don't have to be too meticulous here, you just want roughly the same thing. And if this weren't blocking, you would see that this is, you know, more or less close by. So we'll go ahead and run the numerical part, and what that's going to do is compare all the points to kind of all the closest points nearby. And we can tune the parameters to get that to happen better by limiting the distance that it looks for other points, giving it a bigger sample, and giving it a closer target distance, you know, giving it high aspirations, and then giving it more tries to get there. Repeat that. All right, so this is what we want to see, this speckling, because this essentially corresponds to two you know, textured surfaces overlaying each other. The texture is kind of the random noise in the detail of the scanner. Now, anytime we see a, a line intersection, that's going to represent misalignment via some rotation or some translation or offset, and that's systematic error, not what we want. What we want is nice little random error that's a result of, you know, error and uncertainty in our digital impression. So let's do the same thing. You don't have to watch. I'm just going to repeat that same process just to show that proof of concept this can be done. this a little bit and let's go pretty good for the first one fine tune it get a little better This one will probably crash my computer, but all right. And so it didn't look like it got a whole lot better, and this kind of tells us our average error is in the four micron range, which seems good to me, almost too good considering the accuracy 